We have an app that you can see on the screen right now called Velocity Keyboard, which is, we believe, the best app on the App Store right now for sensing velocity based on uh, force on the screen. And this works even if you don't have a 3D touch enabled device, so it works on the iPad. As soon as we released this app, we got comments from customers that said this is great that we have a uh, uh, velocity sensitive keyboard but now we have a problem and the problem is that uh, most of the presets in the synths that we use don't support velocity by default so in this video I'm going to show you how to set up um, how to take the presets that are already there in this synth called Volt and how to adapt them so that they have some uh, some velocity response to them so the first thing I want to note, I want to point out is that the keyboard built into the app has this button that you can press to enable velocity to be sent. And this keyboard uh, triggers velocity based on the position. So this is the high velocity and this is the low velocity. And uh, that will allow us to test what we're doing to make sure it's working. So in Volt, this is pretty easy. You want to get to the main section. And the two controls that respond to velocity are the amp envelope and the mod envelope. You might think that the, the best way to do velocity would be to mess with the amp envelope that way when you're playing low velocity it's quieter, high velocity it's louder. And that would work, but I don't believe it's the best way. A better way is to work with the mod envelope and modulate the filter cutoff. So I've got this patch and you can hear it's not velocity sensitive because as I move around on the key it, it sounds the same. So the first thing I want to do is turn this velocity thing in the mod envelope all the way up to the top. But you'll see it's still not velocity sensitive. So the second thing is this trick. You need to turn the release down to zero. So we're getting something there. Um, that's not quite what I was hoping for. Maybe I just want more of it. So to get more of that effect, I have this, this, uh, this is controlling how much the envelope will control the cutoff. So I'm going to take that up a little higher. Let's see what we've got now. It's a little higher than I want it to go. Actually, Sometimes I like it to go up to that extreme, but then I'll take the, the, the um, filter frequency down so that on the lower end we get a really soft note. That's pretty good. Okay, so now we have a velocity sensitive patch. The next thing I want to talk about is um, how that's going to connect to velocity keyboard. So here we are in velocity keyboard. I'm going to open the settings menu. This is a good setup. Veloci uh, Volt is a MPE compatible synth, so I'm going to use the uh, MPE preset. One thing we need to note is that uh, currently we're having trouble getting Volt to work with MPE4, but it works great with MPE3. So if you're using Velocity Keyboard, make sure you get that. I've got the destination set to Volt. Let's see what it sounds like. Um, it's pretty good. One thing I'm noticing is this, this preset by default, it is limiting the lower range, and I don't think I need that here, so I can go all the way down to zero with the velocity. So now it's more sensitive. The next thing is this curve. Uh, for this particular synth, I like this velocity response curve right dead in the center. And that's, that's pretty good. The only other thing that I could recommend to make this even better is it might help me to put a, a little bit of a pad underneath my iPad, which would just allow it to uh, pick up the, um, the pressure sensing a little bit better. So bear with me for just a moment, and I'm gonna stick a pad under this, and you'll hear this is a, this is a pillow uh, filled with green bean husks, of all things. And we're back in place. All right, um, and with a little bit of padding under it, now this isn't a soft pillow, this is, it's a really firm, when I push on it, it doesn't move much, and that's good. You, you wouldn't want to use a, you know, a feather pillow or a kind of pillow people normally sleep with. 
And, and now we've got a really good response. Uh, this is monophonic synth, so I could probably go polyphonic um, over here if I wanted to. There it is, poly. Perfect. Um, so that's how that's how you do it. And this works. Let's do this with one more patch just for fun. This works with any patch in Volt. So uh, I I like the way velocity works on basses in general, but it works fine for um, poly patches or leads. Let's take uh, let's take this. Great. Um, and once again, we're going to take velocity to the top. We're going to take the release down to zero. That's probably good where it is. Perfect. And we're back over here. And I'm not polyphonic. Put it in polyphonic mode. I like the sound of that. So that's it. Uh, any preset you want in Volt, you go through those basic steps and you'll have it ready to um, ready to be sensing velocity and ready to work with velocity keyboard.